Now that we've learned how to identify the parts of analogical arguments, we're in a position to learn how to evaluate them. Remember that when evaluating analogical arguments, we want to ask four questions. First, do the X properties apply to both the source and target domains? If it turns out that they don't apply to one or both of these, then the argument fails from the get-go. Second, are the X properties sufficiently diverse and numerous? In particular, we want to make sure that the X properties are relevant. Third, is the linking principle reasonable? In other words, does it seem reasonable that the X properties and Y properties are related in the way that we need them to be? And finally, are there defeating conditions that prevent the application of the linking principle to the target domain? To see how these questions work in practice, let's again consider one of the arguments from the previous lecture. Children generally choose things that bring them immediate gratification over what will benefit their long-term interests. That's why families work best when they have a strong authoritarian structure. Similarly, citizens generally favor those policies that will have an immediate impact on their well-being, even when those policies will harm them in the long run. Thus, countries will similarly work best when they adopt authoritarian political structures. So the first question then is whether the X properties apply to both the source and target domains. In this case, the argument is claiming that the ruled in families, that is children, and in countries, that is citizens, frequently choose their short-term interests at the expense of their long-term interests. This isn't a universally true claim, but it isn't unreasonable. We can move on to the second question. Are the X properties sufficiently diverse and numerous? Arguably, the inference fails on this point. There's only one similarity noted between families and political structures, and that certainly isn't sufficient to support the claim that countries should be ruled in the same way that families are. Third, is the linking principle reasonable? Remember in this argument, the linking principle is that when the ruled are more concerned about their short-term over their long-term interests, it's best that they be ruled according to some authoritarian structure. But this, of course, is weak. There are plenty of examples of authoritarian rulers who do not act in the long-term interests of their citizens. And finally, are there certain defeating conditions that would prevent the application of the linking principle to the target domain? The target domain in this example is states, and in those situations, authoritarian rulers don't always have the interests of citizens at heart. In this way, states are very different from families. Authoritarian rulers in states are very different from parents. And secondly, citizens are adults. They aren't children, and so they should be allowed to have the autonomy to make bad decisions on their own. Just because adults happen to frequently prefer their short-term over their long-term interests, it doesn't follow that they should be governed by a strong authoritarian ruler in the way that children are. Learning to ask these four questions and to apply the criteria that they contain will help us significantly in evaluating analogical arguments as well as constructing effective arguments of our own.